Here we have the Dell Latitude 7220 Rugged Extreme Tablet with a 12 inch screen, front facing camera. On the back side of the tablet is the rear mounted camera and flash, attached stylus with storage slot. The tablet is appropriately bright so no one can lose it and a two cell express charge lithium ion battery. On the front of the tablet are the backlit screen rotation button, brightness, volume, and three programmable buttons for keystrokes or macros, such as open DEI or turning right block on or off. On the side panel is the audio jack, USB 3, USB C, micro HDMI, and power input. Along with this, it comes with BitLocker protected. Again, who's going to lose it with the bright color? If we go to our easy access display settings, we can see how easy it is to scale, giving you better viewing capabilities. Here we scaled to 175% and look how nice that it is to view. Back to 100% and then we're going to go up to 125% and still have a nice viewing area. And the tablet is not locked to Digital Evidence Investigator. All access is yours. Think of the boot information, hotkeys, and computer specs you can find now right at the tip of your fingers. And the keyboard is easy to access from the taskbar and also has auto open if in a text area on the screen. Let's open Digital Evidence Investigator on the Dell tablet. Again, touch capable and plenty of screen real estate for you. We have already gone ahead and added an iPhone with an encrypted backup setting. An iOS with encrypted backups get more data. And let's see how easy it is to use the screenshot capability. With an optional kickstand or hand strap, you can easily create a few screenshots. No dropping the tablet and working in an often limited space. If you have not seen this feature, we now screenshot with Digital Evidence Investigator and process with OCR. First, we create a few screenshots and can create separate categories, such as your home screens here. And now, talking of categories, you can see Elsa here is changing the default group where she took the home screen categories, and she is now adding Evernotes. And this could be any specific app. Let's say you want to kick Messenger, whatever you're screenshotting. You can see here, you only need to manipulate the screen to the location you want to screenshot. No triggers on the phone itself. We then process with optical character recognitions and everything is processed and in your scan results. And you can see here, you get some really nice uh, screenshot previews and searchable textual content from the screenshots. Now, if we navigate to the Evernote category, we can see Elsa showing us the Evernote textual content, and we'll focus in on the text, a lot of security doors. And then she's going to search for the word security. Again, easy to use keyboard, and she uses the search, and you can see it found three hits on security. And when she goes here to the preview, you can see security camera, security guards, and security doors. Now, Elsa will go into the messaging capture results, and we can see just how responsive Digital Evidence Investigator is with touchscreen and using all the typical buttons, the boxes, and selection points, filtering, sorting, and removing filters, scrolling, all with ease. And you can see as she navigates around that there are no mishits or what I like to refer to for myself as fat fingering. All selections have been accurate with the Dell tablet and the touch screen feature.
So I mentioned earlier about having the lab in your hand, as Elsa shows us in a USB device that needs to be scanned. If on scene, you could attach it through a write blocker, or like I mentioned earlier, turn on or off write blocking with the program keys if you have used those. Once it's write blocked and attached, it's normal digital evidence investigator function to select the drive, select a profile for non-operating uh, system scanning, and you're scanning your device on scene while others are using collection keys for the computers on scene. While we are demonstrating use with the tablet keyboard, an external keyboard could be connected and used in these situations as well. You can monitor the scan as it continues, and when the scan has finished, the results can be immediately reviewed and or the USB device imaged if necessary. Also, this is the time you can review, tag, sort, filter, and use your results for interview purposes and making decisions on scene and always enough real estate on your screen with the ability to zoom uh, built right into Digital Evidence Investigator. One of the nice things about having the lab in your hands is always having the ability to do just a little more examination of the results on scene. As we can't preview video on a suspect computer, having the tablet allows you to preview with the proper codecs installed, You still and you still get the 50 frames, but now if the actual content and audio are important, the lab is with you and you can preview, preview the entire video in full. As you are scrolling through, if your classifier has finished running, post scan of course, you can choose to use the features there as well, all on scene. You can start, stop, scrub, pause, all available. So as Elsa finishes up here, let me just summarize a little bit in the ability the tablet brings with it to the scene. It's portable. It's lightweight. It's built for digital evidence investigator. It's got all the push button functionality. Built for the extreme conditions we work in. It's bright and bit lockered, so nobody's going to misplace it or lose it. And you have the security of BitLocker if it is. Fully functional on scene, no waiting to go back to the lab. If the situation changes, you are ready. And as you can see, it's really easy to use.